cat people, how are you today? I am Cat Lady and Honey, and today we are talking about my palette collection part 19. Basically, at this series, I'm going through my palette collection, I'm talking to you about my last purchases, why I purchased the palettes, what did I see that I liked, if I have tried them, if I already have videos about them, if not, why, why I'm not doing it yet, and in general, we are having some good time talking about palettes so if you're a palette lover like me i think you're gonna enjoy this video now when it comes to the makeup that i'm wearing today is the makeup that i have done when i was reviewing the spooked palette from gourmand girls and of course there is a step-by-step -step tutorial at my channel and when it comes to the jewelry that i'm wearing today all of them are a gift from my dear friend Sunnys. Sunnys has also a YouTube channel and I will definitely let the channel down at my description box. So after you finish with my video, please go and check it and why not subscribing to her. And after all this, and without any further ado, let's go and see the palettes! The first palette for today is a bit old, okay? So basically it's the collaboration between Colourpop and the Muppets and yes, it's a part of the Christmas collection of 2022. Oops! <laughs> I know, I know it's old but I'm here to explain why I'm gonna present it to you right now. Well, when this palette was released, I saw it and I was like, I need this palette in my life. But I decided not to order from Colourpop at this point. But then they had a great discount for this palette. This palette, by the way, is super amazing. Look at it. Look why I wanted to buy it so, so much. And then I told my best friend, who is kinda living in England, but also she's going back to Greece, she's going back and forth. And I told her like, I want the palette, can we order it to England? So of course, from America to England, it took like three weeks to be shipped, or not shipped, delivered, to be precise. And then she was in Greece, and then until she go back to England, the palette was just waiting for her. <laughs> then she sent it to me here, so we're talking about another two extra weeks and that's how I ended up having it now present to you now so I'm sorry that I'm a bit late probably it's discontinued by now but definitely I wanna use it I wanna create makeup looks with it because to me this palette is so so inspiring when it comes to the Muppets to be honest I don't really have memories about them because when they were playing at the Greek TV I was super super young, I would say I was a child, I was around 2-3 to three years old so I didn't really understand the full concept, what it was about, their jokes and stuff like that but I clearly remember all the characters because it was nice for me to watch so I kinda know who is who but I don't know their personality in depth. Anyway, I'm planning to do a tutorial about this palette. I'm gonna give you my opinion. I don't know if you care at this point, but I really want to do a dedicated video because this palette is so cute and it's pink. I love pink. Next, I'm gonna tell you about a quad. This comes from Lethal Cosmetics and basically I built this palette by myself. All the eyeshadows that you see here are from a limited edition collection that they had in in order to help some organizations. I remember they had one for stray pets, one for saving the forests, one for saving the oceans and one for saving the wildlife. So basically if you wanted to buy anything from these collections, either the eyeshadows or the palette as like the cover and everything, an amount of money was going to help this organization. Now this palette obviously is for the seed purpose. Also it has a very cute core inside it says did you know that marine plants produce 80% of the world's oxygen and basically in this palette I have two eyeshadows from the ocean collection and two eyeshadows from the forest basically all the eyeshadows that they have released for this collection were kind of more to the special side as you can see they are shimmers marbled shimmers so so beautiful if you want my opinion on this actually they had some mattes available as like pre-made palettes with two mattes, two shimmers but I decided to fully support the purpose by just buying from all the organizations or actually to buy so money will go to all organization according to me this was the best idea possible and 
basically I didn't have the opportunity to try this palette yet but if you want me to prioritize it please 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 write a comment down below and I will keep it in mind now when it comes to the colors they are so stunning I didn't even swatch them because I don't want to destroy the pattern again look at it it's so so beautiful but I feel that according to the way that I'm swatching it I will get a different color for example here I might be able to get blue green and kind of this pinkish red so to me this is very interesting as a concept because I would like to try you know the colors individually but then I would like to blend them all together and see what color this is gonna be so I'm super intrigued I've never tried anything from Lethal before and I'm very very curious to do so next I'm gonna tell you about a palette that I actually have tried and I have a tutorial here at my channel well as you have understood I'm gonna tell you about the latest collaboration at least the latest one I'm filming this video between Uden Sai and Lauren My Beauty. Look at this pretty palette. I don't know what to say about it. It has everything that I love. It has the oceanic slash sea theme, which like I'm dying about. It has Lauren as a mermaid with her amazing pink hair. It's so beautiful. Lauren is so beautiful in this palette. The color scheme is stunning it's super beautiful actually i got this color which i wanted to have a long time ago but i never had in my collection for some weird reason but now i have it yay <laughs> it's super pretty the quality is sky high i think that with this palette wouldn't say have found or established i would say because they had this amazing quality at the christmas collection as well so i would say they have established a great quality other shimmers i mean they were always super shifty and nice and the duochromes were wow super amazing but they were creasing a lot at least on my eyelids like i have hooded eyes i have very oily eyelids you know the drill but now with this new formula i haven't found any of these issues these are working perfectly on my hoodie and oily eyelids and I'm very very happy about it because I really wanted to use the eyeshadows from Odensai but they have this issue so this kind of was stopping me from using them so now that they fixed them I think that their quality is finally top notch very very nice when it comes to this quad it's not my favorite but i think that it's actually adding to this palette in the sense like here we have the colors of the sea and some signature colors and here we have the colors of the sun so all in all i think that's a very very well thought palette great job wooden side great job lauren my prepare yourselves for a big palette well my next palette for today is the one from give me glow and it's called Old haunted pumpkin i mean i'm in love with this name it's so halloween ish and i love the theme of the palette as well i think it's very unique that they decided to have a picture and then to write pumpkin and let us see the picture through the word pumpkin so clever so halloweeny kind of creepy i would say great idea now how the palette looks inside Ta -da! very very autumnal color scheme very halloweenish color scheme i'm in love with the names that they have chosen i mean this one did you hear that midnight mist follow my shadow oh my god they have done a great job here i love the imprints as well can you see the little pumpkin heads at the eyeshadows they're pretty they're super pretty unfortunately i didn't have the chance to try the palette so i don't have to say a lot about the quality how the eyeshadows are performing if give me glow is a good brand actually because i have heard a lot of people saying very very positive things about the brand but i haven't tried any of their products myself this palette actually was the first thing that i bought from them or the second one or i bought two palettes together i don't remember anyway i've never tried anything from them before so i think that i need to rush a bit with the tutorial because i really want to have my own opinion about the brand i only can 
tell you about the packaging and the aesthetics and the color scheme and stuff like that, but we all know this is not enough. Remaining to the goth, spooky, dark vibe, at number five, I have a palette from V Cosmetics, a quite special palette, I would say, because it's in collaboration with Alice Bizarre. I don't know if you know her. I know her from TikTok. I don't know if she's on Instagram as well, but go follow her on TikTok. She is doing amazing stuff. She's having a very unique makeup style, like I'm so inspired by her makeup looks. She's adding a lot of details in her makeup looks. All of them are super spooky and creepy and nice. I love her art. Also, she's doing some prosthetics these days and I mean, she's perfect. I admire her so, so much. Now, when it comes to the actual palette, look at this color story. It's so deep and represents her art so, so much. Actually, we have two blacks as well, one matte, one shimmery, which I always appreciate so much, and two whites, one shimmery, one matte. It's so difficult to find a good white in palettes, and I have tried VE Cosmetics White, and I'm very glad about it, so when I found out that a white exists in this palette as well, I was like, yay! More white from VE Cosmetics! Super nice! And now I have a purplish color scheme, very grungy, very dark. I am super, super intrigued to dive into this palette. As you can see, it's brand new. I haven't done anything with it yet. I'm kind of trying to keep it for a more special occasion, for a very creepy look that I have in my head. I want to perfect it before I use it, because I want to give the best, the creepiest self for this palette, and I want to do it right. And now, it's time for the Greek word of the day. Well, while I was looking at this palette, I found out that I love this dark green eyeshadow. It is called Tragedy, and I would like to tell you the Greek word for tragedy. Actually, tragedy is a Greek word, so it's very very, very easy for you to catch the Greek word. In Greek we say tragodia. See with me. Tra go di ha. Tragodia. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word tragodia or actually telling the word in your own native language. And last but definitely not least, let me tell you about another new to me brand. Well, I have the palette MILF Man I Love Frogs from Sugar Drizzle. It's the first time that I'm trying this brand. I actually have used the palette, I have filmed the tutorial, and after this, I have used it several times for other makeup looks that I didn't film and I'm super happy with the quality. They have done a great job. Basically, this is a special eyeshadow palette. It contains shimmers, duochromes, multichromes and all the sparkly shadows that you can imagine. The quality is actually immaculate. I used to own other palettes from another brand like this, I mean with only special eyeshadows, but I don't find them comparable. This quality is way higher than the other because of the others, the other palettes. I find that the special eyeshadows, especially the more soft one, were kind of very oily and they were not lasting as long onto my eyelids. So I find this formula way better. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you about the color scheme, which is amazing, super beautiful. I love that while I'm talking, I see the palette slightly moving and I see all the shifts or the different colors. It's so stunning to me. And I found out that nowadays I'm more intrigued to buy palettes like this with only shimmers because I basically have the most mattes out there. I mean, there are very, very few matte eyeshadows that I don't own in my collection. And if this is the case, I don't own them probably because I don't want to use them. They're not very inspiring to me. So I'm more kind of willing to buy stuff like this, which are more special. So definitely I want to keep my eyes open about Sugar Drizzle. And especially if they have more all shimmery palettes, I would be so intrigued to buy them. Actually, I think I know that they have another one 
which is called something like sugary something i'm not sure about it but i have seen the color scheme and i'm like oh, this screams my name doesn't call my name it screams my name i'm not sure if i'm gonna buy it or not but if i do i will definitely have a review in this channel and that was it this was our video for today thank you so so much for being here with me today i hope you enjoyed the video and i want you to know that i appreciate you a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot don't don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok everywhere. My name is Cat Lady Antigoni, and I will be very, very happy to see you there. Well, see you next time with a more makeup-based video. And until then, bye!